You know, Joe, I want to get back to the message that President Biden uh, had for China's growing military threat to Taiwan. The president really clarifying uh, the White House's official stance on this more than ever before. Yeah, he did. I mean, what was striking was that the question that he got was, we did not militarily intervene in Ukraine. Obviously, we've been giving them defensive weapons, but not militarily intervene. Would we be willing to do that in Taiwan? And the president unequivocally said, yes. And here's what he said just after that. We agree with a one China policy. We signed on to it and all the attendant agreements made from there. But the idea that that it could be taken by force, just taken by force, is just not is just not appropriate. Now, the White House team did try to walk this back a little bit and say that this is not a shift in our policy, but what's clear is that no American president has gone so far as to say that we would militarily intervene in Taiwan. Giving them weapons and then militarily intervening is a different policy. One more thing that's important to point out, Adrian, the president has said this before in a town hall, and the White House sort of walked it back then, doing the same now. But this was a really strong message that he sent, especially doing so in Asia on this trip, just on China's doorstep. So something we haven't seen before. Let's see how the message you know, may change throughout the day. All right. Yes, Joe, we will continue to watch the news out of Washington, D.C. Last hour, I did speak to our friend Niall Stanich from The Hill about Biden's vow to defend Taiwan. Here's what he said. This uh, answer that he gave this morning was in response to exactly that framing. Will you do something in Taiwan that you wouldn't in Ukraine? And he said yes. Now, that's going to cause quite a lot of discombobulation in the White House, I would imagine, because why would you say that? In the instance of Ukraine, Russia invaded. It's absolutely clear cut. And yet, President Biden has sought to retain this line where the U.S. will offer assistance but not put boots on the ground. In the hypothetical example of Taiwan, he appears to be erasing that red line. And right now, the White House behind the scenes seems to be trying to paint that red line back in again. Do we have any indication what U.S. voters would uh, respond to in terms of another conflict that America is involved in on foreign soil? I mean, you've got the economy where it is today. You have the post-pandemic or rather the COVID era uh, issues that we're all still reeling from. And then you have Ukraine. So, I mean, to have a conflict in an area that's not top of mind for most Americans, are voters going to be pleased with this? Are they going to speak up about this? I, I think the answer is in the framing of your question, Adrian. I mean, there's so much else on Americans' minds on the home front, never mind the war in Ukraine. Of course, the war in Ukraine intersects with the home front because it contributes to high gas prices and things of that nature. And as you say, the issue of Taiwan, which is a, a complicated and nuanced issue, is not one that I think is being uh, discussed over many Americans' kitchen tables on a regular basis. So whether we'd really appreciate U.S. troops getting involved in any conflict that would erupt there, that, that seems a very stretched proposition. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.